What's up guys, hope you're having an awesome day. We are back out the shop working on the little Toyota again. Next up on the list is gonna be doing the shock tabs or the shock mounts. We need to get those welded onto the axle. I currently have the axle strapped up at ride height right now. That way we weld the tabs on in the correct position. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle that first. So these are the shock tabs that we're gonna be using. This is a kit from Trail Gear. I'll try to put a link down in the description for this if I remember. But you can see they have a cutout there that wraps around the axle. So you'll just place them up here like such in the correct position and then weld those things on. They have bolts that they just welded to this axle for the <laughs> previous shock tabs, which are not ideal. As you can see, they have bent. So we're gonna have to cut those off and then grind the axle smooth. And then we'll be able to start welding these things on. All right, so with these shock brackets, these are a two-piece design. You have this piece that was cut out and then folded together, and then this piece that goes in here. As you can see here, they're not perfect when you get them. You might need to uh, bend them together a little bit. So this is kind of what I do for these. I take a couple clamps and I clamp that inner piece down like that, and then I clamp the sides together. There's they're still a little bit different, but they'll work just fine for what we're doing. The main part is this here where the shock bolts together. You want to make sure that is bolted together straight. And then the way I do this is I stack up nuts and washers to around 15 thou bigger than the inch and a half that I'm shooting for. That way you have enough room to put the shock in there and then it's just enough it'll clamp tight on the shock. So then that will allow that to be welded together straight so the shock is sitting in there how it needs to be. Shock mounts are officially tacked on and in place. We got both sides here. I just put the bolt through the shock and then kind of leveled it close to what I needed. And then it's a little close to the spring there, but there is enough room to weld in there. I wanted these out as far as I could get them. That way we have a little bit better travel because I don't think I'm gonna add any on this upper crossbar. I think I'm just gonna leave them where they're at because that should do well with the travel that I need. But now we're gonna work on pulling the rear axle and finish weld this stuff. Well, I guess we're gonna test the strength of the old US General roll around car. Good news is, turns out the old US General uh, roll around car holds a Toyota axle. All right, we got the rear axle removed. As you can see, these are the back tabs that they had for shocks on a previous build. So we need to chop those off. I want to straighten these brake lines and do a bunch of work to the axle, but we'll save that for a separate video. Right now we're working on the frame. Now that the axle is out, we can start cleaning this. I want to throw on some spray paint, touch it up a little bit. We still need to cut these brackets off, finish touching these things up. I want to clean those. And then we got to finish weld the brackets that we installed and of course paint. bit rusty on the welding. It looks like a pig shit on it.
right, so we're working on getting the rest of the brackets finished welded for the 63 swap. And right now we're working on the back portion. We have the brackets completely welded, but the back of the frame here is not very well supported. So what we're doing with, or as you can see here, this is kind of what we're working with. There's not a lot of support in here for this piece. So it has the ability to rotate if it's not braced. So what I did is I cut a couple pieces. These are just some scrap steel I had laying around. And we're gonna put these in the end here and weld them up and then that will help support it and keep it from wanting to rotate. Um, and then the bumper that's on this is pretty beefy, so that'll tie it all together as far as uh, side to side. So we're gonna go ahead and weld these on and then we'll be completely done with all the welding for the 63 swap and we can move on to cleaning and painting. <laughs> so you can get a deeper penetration. Because Lord knows everyone loves some deeper penetration. <laughs> right, Cassie? <laughs> yeah. Win. But this is how we're doing it because uh, I don't want to pull all that stuff off. It needs to work this way. Also, pro tip, don't have a giant fan blowing away all your gases on the welder because that doesn't work either. But we're still not going to shut it off because that's a long way to do it. All right, guys, we're about wrapped up with this video. We have the frame completely painted. Don't mind some of the overspray. We just gave her a rough paint job here to cover up some of the rust, but it's good enough to start assembling the rear. I did just get these leaf springs pulled apart and I'm painting, throwing a quick coat of paint on these guys right now. And then I also have those spread apart like that because I got some new wear pads for the springs. So I want to put those guys on there so they stop wearing down the springs. If you don't, over time it'll just wear, you can kind of see here, it'll wear down the spring and that just gives it another point that it can break and I do not want that. So we're going to toss some new pads in there and then we'll be able to get the springs put back up underneath this thing. And then after that we'll be moving on to the rear axle. I got that setting over here on the engine stand. This is the cradle thing I made for pulling the cab on the Comanche, and it worked great for holding the axle. So we're gonna be working on the axle next. We got a couple things to do to this. We need to pull off these rear shock mounts. I don't think I want to leave them on there, so we'll probably remove those. And I would like to route, reroute this brake line a little bit nicer and add some tabs along there so it is not getting snagged or hung up on anything. It'll just be a little bit better place. So we've got quite a bit of work to do to the rear axle. And then once that's done, we can throw it back in the little Toyota and then we'll pretty much be done with the back. We also have the rear bumper that we need to modify and do a couple things too. And then we can toss that thing back on this. But other than that, it's coming along nicely. I'm pretty excited with it so far. We still have a bunch left to do on this thing. So hopefully we can keep making some good progress. It is currently getting pretty cold out here. Uh, you can't really tell on camera, but the stove is working awesome. That thing does good at heating this. The issue is the ceiling is not insulated. So the heat goes out of it pretty quickly. And when the temperatures are really low, like it is this week, um, it, it doesn't heat as well as it should. So we're a little bit more bundled up this time getting this stuff done, but it will work out just fine. So. Other than that, stay tuned for the next video, which will most likely be the axle on this thing. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.